okay so come to the next problem so this problem so let us first draw the diagram and then we'll go for the problem so let us copy this one and then we'll so just diagram make the diagram and then we'll discuss the problem so this is given find distance r1 plus r2 so it's so everything So this is a really a revolution. If I use this kind of uh, black and white combination, really this is a marvelous. It looks, it increases the beauty of the video. You know, the same thing. If you if you love something to do, what happens? Uh, automatically the things improve. Doing with love is the important thing in life. If you do something with love, who does not care about the improvement, improvement happens yourself. It, improvement happens itself. And that is the beauty of life. If you want to do something, you will be always forced. You will not relax. But if you are doing something out of relaxation, oh my God, that is really beautiful. Because relax, in relaxation, you are not worried over the result but when are you worried over the result one part of energy one part of your energy goes into the worrying but when you are relaxed you are not worrying about the what is the result will happen in that case you are more free and freedom always gives good result okay let us come to the point so how many of you have written this one i think most of you have written this one now Okay, let me do the, uh, read the question, meanwhile you can also write, keep writing. So this is, a double star is a system of two stars moving around the center of mass of the system due to gravitation. So now let us say, this is describing something called double star system. So let us say, I have a mass M1, I have another mass M2, and center of mass is somewhere here. So this is the center of mass of system. I can always find, if I know the mass, I can find a center of mass if I know the distance also. So this is moving. So these two stars only have a force due to gravitation. So this will have a force this side due to gravitation. This will have a force this side due to the gravitation. Now due to the gravitation, the question says they move in a circular orbit. There is no external force. So they will move in a circular orbit. <laughs> So this means if this mass from here to goes here at M2, now there is no force, so center of mass has to remain constant, center of mass has remained to the has to remain on the same point. This means this mass has to come from here to here with the same theta. If this goes with theta, this also has to go with theta. Are you getting or not? Now in the next time, if this mass goes from here to here, that is uh, trying to satisfy a circular orbit, this mass has to go from here to here. Are you getting or not? So this means, now this mass is moving in a this circular orbit, so it will complete a circular orbit something like this. So if it completed a circular orbit something like this, are you getting or not? Now, so... But we have, we have this is moving, so this will complete this circle. So now you got the point. If this mass, the M2 is moving in this circle, in this way, so this mass is also moving in this circle. Are you getting or not? So now I can plot this something like this. So M2 is moving in this circle, and M1 is also moving in this circle. Let us say radius of M2 is R2, so this radius is R2 from center of mass. And this radius is R1 
from center of mass are you getting or not so the question is asking what will be the sum of the distances r1 plus r2 that is the, what is the distance between these two masses this distance will remain constant at any point of time so this distance what is this distance r1 plus r2 we have been given total mass of the system is capital m that is m1 plus m2 is capital m you have been also given time period of revolution is t now see the time period of revolution will be same for both if this completes one circle this also has to complete one circle are you getting or not this also has to complete one circle so this means time period for both the same you see here itself if it, this goes by theta angle this also goes by theta angle so if it this this completes one circle this also completes one circle so time period for both will be the same let's just say this time period is capital t so what we have to find is we have to find so this time period is capital t so now the question says so let me read the question find the distance between two components so we have to find the distance r1 plus r2 so you solve yourself now i will give you some hints first hint is you write down the equation of circular motion that is force towards the center is equals to mass into acceleration and then from there you find the time period t 2 pi r by v and then you do addition you will get the result so what is the hint hint is you write down the circular motion for both masses m1 and m2 from there find v1 v2 and then write down expression for t that is t is 2 pi r1 by v1 another t is 2 pi r2 by v2 you will get the answer so let me wait for some time okay now let us come to the solution so let me discuss the solution so you have so for circular motion if we start writing circular motion for m1 you will write forces on m1 is g m1 m2 by r so this is the force on m1 that is the force is g m1 m2 by r1 plus so what is the force force will depend upon the total distance that is important point so if you see the force so force is m1 m2 by r square r is the total distance r1 plus r2 So force is r1 plus r2 whole square mass into acceleration m1 v1 square by r. Similarly, so you can cancel m1, so you will have g m2 by r1 plus r2 whole square v1 square by r1. Similarly, you can write for m2. Here you will have m1 and here you will have v2. So this is the expression for v1 and v2. Now the time period for both is same. So you find time period t1. so t1 is basically t so here you have time period for t1 both time period is same so t is 2 pi r by 1 v1 and t2 that will be t pi r2 by v2 so you see here so this is t pi r by v1 time period for the second t is equals to 2 pi r by v2 and both t1 is equals to t2 is equals to capital t now uh, basically i don't know i don't need this result you can see here if you see this time period t is equals to this time period so r1 by v1 is equals to r2 by v2 so both time period has to be equal so i will get a extra result that is r1 by v1 is equals to r2 by v2 i i does not need this result so let us cancel this one so i have so let us come to the point t is 2 pi r by v1 and v1 is uh i can write 2 pi r by 1 r1 by t similarly i can write v2 is equals to 2 pi r2 by t so v1 is 2 pi r1 by t v2 is 2 pi r2 by t so let us copy this one if you have not copied
so what is my target my target is to find out the v1 and v2 so now we have v1 for expression for v1 we have expression for v2 are you getting or not so these are the two expression v1 and v2 now you see what we can do is if i add these two equations so i have equation number 1 and equation number 2 if i add i will have zm2 zm1 and r1 plus r2 the r square that is common so if i add these two quantities why i am adding you will just see why i am doing all this so if i add so i will have m1 plus m2 on the top so you see here so if you take z m1 z m2 and m so is this equation and this equation z by r1 plus r2 whole square is common here you will have m1 here will have m2 and m1 plus m2 is capital m so i can write as z m by r1 plus r2 whole square this will be v1 square by r so here you have v1 square by r1 here you have v2 square by r2 v1 square by r1 v2 square by r2 now we have already derived v1 is 2 pi by t r1 and v2 is 2 pi r2 by t2 so v1 square will be simply ah uh, 2 pi r1 so you see divided by v1 and this is a square so 1 r1 a square basically 1 r1 a square so this will be 2 pi by t a square so 2 pi a square t a square r1 a square and 1 r1 will cancel out so we will have simply r1 on the top you getting or not so this is 2 pi a square by t a square r1 a square and r1 a square in the bottom also so 1 r1 a square and r1 cancels out so we will have r1 here similarly we will have 2 pi a square r2 by t2 a square t a square now if you take common t a square and 2 pi a square so this goes this side so i can put this side t a square by 2 pi a square now r1 plus r2 and r1 plus r2 this side and i have r1 plus r2 whole square this side so finally it will be r1 plus r2 whole q and i want to find what is the r1 plus r2 so this will be one third root of this one are you getting or not so this is a quite interesting problem you see you can do this one so let us write if you have not written something so this goes here and then this goes here so you write yourself if you have not written so what we have learned this is a concept of double star system so only the point important point is if there is no external force only the forces of gravitation is acting if only the gra gravitation forces is acting it will do if you have two particle it will move in a circular orbit even if you have three particle again it will move in a circular orbit if you have a four particle that will also move in a circular orbit because all the forces if you take the resultant forces resultant forces will be directed along the center are you getting not so if you have three particle moving so if you have three particle moving then in that case you have to take the resultant forces all the resultant forces along the center and again you can show this is a this will move along a circular orbit if you have four particle they will also move along the circular orbit so this is a uh, in these cases center of mass remains rest because there is no external force that is acting okay we'll discuss the next problem